Three, two, one, action. And no, you've got your microphone in the well, shop. I can't really do much. Right. The first thing to come around like that. So, so yeah, I'll so hold into so like. Gee, <gasps> that's close. <laughs> okay, zoom in. Okay. Zoom out. Zoom oh, in. No. Action. Don't you have to do the hard thing? Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh my god. Okay, wait. Do I do I like. No, not there. Like. The Cut! Why did you do it? Are we Look okay? at that. How was on a D? Yes, right. Go. Oh God. Just speak works. loud. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Scene one. Take one. Action. Drop it. <laughs> you have to sit down, yeah, Daniel. I got it. You have it. You have it. Just because the animals doesn't mean that like they don't have feelings like us. I think it's shocking how people bully someone just because of their race. Oh, it's being sexist to. Women? Gender inequality is like thinking that one gender is better than the other. It's the sort of thing saying that boys are better than girls because of the thing of sexism. And it's kind of like saying that the boyish sports are football and rugby and the girlish sports are trampoline and gymnastics. Like sexist remarks are like, see, like a girl can't be a fireman because it's a fine man. It's only been the hundredth year since women had uh, the right to vote. When people think of professor, they think of like an, an old, old man, man with, with glasses. Grey. Yeah. Well, it's basically when men and women aren't treated the same, and it's really unfair how people are treated because of their gender. So. A boy in our year was getting called names because of the people they like. So people also called him a girl just because he likes the same gender. Like, how would you feel if you were in, like, the same perspective as, like, people from in the LGBTQ community? I would probably tell a teacher and then we would, like, sort it out. I feel very annoyed because people aren't, expect, uh, aren't accepting us for who I am. I would feel sad because no one, it shouldn't be, it's not right that people are getting judged of the way they are. What, like, what would you do to, like, prevent them, like, st stopping to, like, abuse you or, like, make fun of you? I would tell an adult, someone who you can trust. It's illegal, so I'd tell authorities or police or childline. How would you feel if you were in this situation? Um, like, I was worthless, like, I couldn't be myself. I went to see an Ed Sheeran concert. It was amazing, but there was one thing. Drunken men and women came out of the stadium and attacked some homeless people. That's just ridiculous because that's all they have. And like if they have money to buy beer, then they're doing much better than they are. When I was in primary school, three of my former ex-friends started to pick on me because I am Muslim. They never let me play with them and always spread rumours about me. My story is about my friend. He is gay and there's nothing wrong with that. It's his personal preference and no one should say that he's wrong. Unfortunately, that isn't the case. People think that it's acceptable to criticise him, make fun of him and be nasty to him. That's not right. I don't see how they could go out of their way to pick on him. He is doing nothing wrong. It really annoys me. If there's anyone that's like that, you should always have a helping hand for them because you never know one day you could be in that situation for... People should change the way they act towards gay people. One day when I was on YouTube, I saw a video from Ellen DeGeneres, The Ellen Show. There was a boy called Ruben who went on the show about a makeup video he had uploaded. He said during Ellen's interview that he was made fun of at school for wearing makeup. The public thought that his story was an inspiration and he even met Kim Kardashian and James Charles. Well, I wear makeup, so, well, not now, but like, I wear makeup. Well, if he wants to wear makeup, he can. Like, I don't see why people should pick on him. Three, go! <laughs> like, you shouldn't really be saying that to people like that. Like, they really are the same people as us. They just have different thoughts and opinions on what, who they should love and things like that, so. I would say the problem is that it's largest online and in the internet. Mainly because people can say it and get away with it because they can't really be tracked. 
because it's just so much easier to win because you know you're not saying it face to face and instead you're saying it behind the screen. Normal can be anything. Just being yourself, obviously like, I feel like a lot of the time though people bully people because they want to just be this person because they don't want to get bullied because they don't want to feel like an outsider. So it's like if they just be their own person instead of trying to impress like, they be someone not. Be someone and not, yeah, like an impressive with people, then I feel like the world would be a much better place. I think it's a bad thing because you're like putting people down and you're telling them to like change yourself, but they shouldn't really because they are who they are and don't have to change yourself for someone else. They, they've got a life, We it doesn't, it doesn't happen to us, and they've got a life, so there's no need to do it. You have to kind of make it the thing that isn't normal people. There's everyone's different and everyone has different opinions, and you just have to try and show that. Although I'm, it is really difficult to do. Um, I don't know because like people like to think of it as a joke when it's not a joke. Saying things like that could lead to someone self-harming or committing to suicide because they think they're not good enough because they're being bullied. Yeah, it's like all right if they have their own opinion, but it's not all right if they're like abuse them for it or like hate them for it. Like get loads of people to start making signs and going around doing all the, all of a lot of charity events and all that. Wait, so it's a one-word question. I mean, one-word answer. Who am I? My own unique person. I put my own person. I'm special, and my name is special to me. I am vlog, but so is anyone else. And I bring life, happiness, laughter. What is the best thing about being young? I like to think about my future and what I'll be doing. Best thing is being cheeky. You have protection. Um, plus, you're kind of free, and you can mess around and have a laugh with your friends. The ability to be able to like change the world and life altogether. Life, care, happiness, happiness. laughter, chocoholic, chocoholic. Even a little thing like that can like make everything better. Yeah. Elizabeth Davison. <laughs> 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 <laughs>